Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome, I hope y'all are doing well. Hope everyone's having a, uh, a lovely Sunday morning. Uh, first of all, big big thanks to Blue Balco. Thank you very much for the raid, my dude. I was watching Valkyrie play some... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Platoon 3. <laughs> Platoon 3. Uh earlier today uh that's pretty uh, that's a good looking game great music i was working along to the music mostly but I was, I was i was able to catch quite a bit of it uh and also watching Baco play some super mario party what was it what's what's the what's the new one called all stars it's superstars superstars mario party superstars i was watching him play that with some friends last night as well that was a good chill time uh, could not with more Valco during those streams though. I'm just, just saying, you need to. I, I need to hear your voice more, Valco. Uh, but yeah, please everybody do check out Valco. Uh, one of the smoothest voices in the game. Very, very welcoming. Very warm individual. Uh, I love Valkers. I really do. Um. Yeah. Currently also playing through uh, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. So, if you wanna. You wanna see, man? You've been digging into that game properly. I'm glad you're enjoying it so much. You wanna see some uh, epic adventures? You can still find them over there. For I don't know how much longer you're gonna be playing it because like you've been playing it for quite some time. But it is a big ass game. Uh, but yeah, welcome everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome Lep. Welcome Pimmy. Welcome Karma. Scoby. Valkers. Welcome Nightmare. Beastie. Welcome Whiskey. Uh, lovely to see y'all. Uh, all the music we were listening to at the opening of the stream was from Spyro. Uh, what do you call it? It's a Reignited Trilogy, I think it's called. Spyro Reignited. Uh, most of the tracks were from 1, but we had one track from Spyro 2 as well. Uh, yeah, Lofty Castle I really like, and Dreamweavers. Dreamweavers takes, a, while, takes a, a, a bit to kick in with that guitar, but when it did, I was jamming away with the best of them. That was uh, requested by Karma Camilla, who recently played through. Uh, I don't know if we, I think he's played through the first Spyro on stream. That was pretty cool. Minin, what's up? Thank you very much for the sleepy dogs votes. But uh, yeah, here we are. Back again. Apologies for the lateness. I've taken on. I'm, I'm going to be working like every weekend for the rest of the year, so. Uh, might occasionally be late for a Sunday stream, unfortunately. Hopefully, I can, you know, get into a better working rhythm so that doesn't happen very often. But never mind that. Now it is time to jump right in to enjoy. The action, the spectacle, the fantasy of Bayonetta 3. Eating breakfast doesn't kind of work in look. Okay, I started eating breakfast at 11, which is when I was already like half an hour late. <laughs> but I needed to, yeah, I needed to, you know, get some fuel because now we're going to be going later with this stream. We're going to be going later, so I need to make sure I didn't. I'm not going to be, you know, starving uh, a couple hours in. Oh, is that uh, Phantasma Rene? It is indeed. Bayonetta. Good night, Balco. Thank you again so much for the raid. You take care of yourself. May we meet again very soon. Okay, so we're getting to the point where like big spoilers, big spoiler warnings. If anyone wants to play Ben at a three, um, this recap will have spoilers for you. So be be mindful, please. Uh, so we are Bayonetta. We are working with a mysterious young witch called Viola, who has traveled from a different reality into ours at the same time that something else has entered our world. Our encroaching threat of the game, the homunculi, uh, creatures made out of reconfigured and discombobulated humans, <clears throat> led by a being known as Singularity. In order to uh, stop Singularity from consuming all of the, the multiverse into one place. Taylor, thank you for the other wild and take care of yourself. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, We've been traveling to different dimensions, and uh, we've been meeting different Bayonettas along the way. So far, every Bayonetta we've met has died, so that doesn't mean good for them, but... Uh, we've also 
being encountered by a werewolf creature uh, that has stopped to fight us on many occasions. It doesn't seem to be a homunculus, nor does, is it an angel or a demon or any of the other enemies that Bayonetta has traditionally faced. Something entirely new, and only last time we found out, while playing as Viola, we came across our uh, a constant companion in the Bayonetta series, the investigative reporter, Luca. Uh, the guy who's always had, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a rivalry turning into crush on Bayonetta. And uh, he also is getting seemingly caught in this whole multiverse shifting thing. He came to the same island as we did, uh, where the keys to the multiverse supposedly exist. And uh, our character Viola has been tasked by Bayonetta to basically keep an eye on Luca, babysit him, make sure he doesn't die. And yeah, Luca definitely, Viola definitely has some sort of connection with Luca. We don't know what it is exactly, but last time Viola caught up with Luca as Luca was succumbing to some voices that have apparently been plaguing him throughout the game. He's been complaining about these voices and uh, at, I guess the, the climax of these voices intruding in his head, he transformed into the very werewolf that we have been facing throughout the game. Uh, Viola fought hard against this werewolf, but uh, eventually Luca wolf mode um, delivered a fiddle blow, stabbing her right through the chest, through the heart, with his claw. Uh, but that was not the end, or Viola unlocked her Esper Terra form. He went devil trigger on him, and uh, yeah, she was. She didn't really lose after she got the power up. But uh, Bayonetta sort of stepped in as uh, as the fight was raging on, and as Bayonetta was about to finish him, uh, Viola stopped Bayo, uh, and Bayonetta sort of realized, it's kind of interesting, Vi Viola didn't say that the werewolf is Luca. Bayo kind of realized it on her own uh, while she was talking to Viola, why she was protecting the werewolf. Um, so yeah, Bayo said, you know, rest up Viola, and uh, we are going to explore more of this particular universe, looking for the, uh, what do you call it, keep, keep calling them the Chaos Emeralds, the, is it the Dimension Gears? It's the MacGuffins, the MacGuffins that we're trying to bring together, we've got three of them already, we need two more. Some TBZ tier bullshit going on, yeah, a little bit. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can buy up at the shop. Welcome to the gates of hell. I want all the colors for all of the outfits, please. Immortal Marionette is essentially, yeah, it's like easy mode. You just hold on the buttons for combos. Don't really want or need that. Look at Jean hanging out there with her excellent jacket. Alright, here we go. On to the next. Oh yeah, we just unlocked train mode for Bayonetta. Which is great. Cairo, Zamalek. Alright, first things first. I'm gonna switch up our equipment a little bit. Garber Affair. Oh nice, we finally get our 
Or within attack. Good. I've been missing that. One second, chat. We're good. All right, God, we got some got some more stuff to catch up on as well. Unsinus. A light combat co com light covert combat units unit, a stationary homunculus type that reacts to approaching entities and attacks. Often deployed to defend vulnerable areas, especially against gigantic homunculi, it attacks nearby enemies with laser blasts. While it can move from its position, it can hide beneath the surface to later appear and attack instantly when an enemy is detected. Chuba, a homunculus type created for subterranean covert actions. Like a mole, it hides underground and approaches silently. It's a preferred method of attack, being a surprise attack from underfoot. It can move swiftly through the ground using its enlarged arms to dig, confusing enemies as it appears and reappears seemingly at random, but when it periodically pops up to reobtain its target's position, it can be attacked and dragged above ground. Hmm. Why is it? I don't see uh, what's new about that. But okay. Drider. Uh, as if driven by madness, it lashes out at all who approach it, including Bayonetta and Viola, lunging at them on sight and waging a number of deadly battles. However, the creature's true form was none other than that of Luca Redgrave. Mentally controlled and twisted by the malevolent amalgam of the disembodied consciousness of Lucas from other parallel worlds, a being known as Dark Adam. Why was her? I mean, everyone's everyone's footprint is on file here. You want to know Enzo's footprint? There it is. Okay. Uh, is this the other outfit? Lollipops, we don't really need to know. Yeah, what do you what else are you saying is in here? I've inspected everything. Oh Moon of Mahakala. A charm blessed by Shiva. The Indian god of destruction and said to have been crafted by the witch Yaxi while serving the Vijayanagara Empire. Uh, the wearer gains the power to repel an enemy's attack. Its shape is not fixed and it is known to change into a variety of forms such as a earring or bracelet to adapt to the wearer's combat garb and fighting style which essentially gives us the the parry from, uh, from Metal Gear Rising. Which I may well try. There's something else we got. Oh yes, Viola's hidden power, which is sick. Fairy form. Very basic combos. <laughs> oh lord, another big ol' open area. This time we gotta be careful to make sure we don't miss any of the bloody tears. Frog, K 
cat and bird. Heavy monitoring intercept unit, Castellanus. I mean, to be fair, it's only it's only one of our fast travel options. Every uh, every weapon has its own sprint attached to it. You do the whole thing, you know. You know, it has transformations attached to the weapons too. Sort of barrier. Oh, of course. Oh, it's an Savat Knight. Okay, here we go. Nice send the little guys out. Oh wow. Man, this train chainsaw weapon is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Towards nine. I said Trainsaw before. I've said Trainsaw on stream. You ain't slicker than me. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> that might have been so fun. Is Madame a butterfly riding a train? No, it's like Ben that it turns into a train demon. Let's see if I can show it. Also, hello, Weeb. Princess, you must not follow. Is that John? And Princess, you must be joking. It's me. Train Onetta. Castellanus, a homunculus type created for enemy surveillance and analyzing military progress. While it resembles a, tar resembles a Tarian pillar, the majority of the pillar is simply the support for the main section situated at the top and out of harm's way. The pillar portion is composed of stacked segments which can be destroyed to bring down the main section, but each pillar segment can defend itself with abilities like producing stratus type homunculi and creating defensive barriers, making it a challenge to destroy. The main section can also grow legs and move independently if the pillar is completely destroyed, and can attack by throwing the ring shaped weapon on its back like a boomerang. Train a Netta outfit? Not that might be a bit much. Not gonna say no though. And she said, Arr. I felt that. Wait, did that just... Demon Masquerade. Oh. Cool. <laughs> I like how she follows it up with a little dance. Limited time, tricky terrain. Oh, how tricky are we talking? Jeez. Okay, that was a weird one. That reminds it. <laughs> that baby convertible, what? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Give me the health, please. Thank you. Oh. Time... Thank you very much for the little... Little 23-month boop. I mean, that's a big old 23-month boop. But, thank you very much. Much appreciated. I hope you've been well. When am I getting a Samus wig? IRL. Why would you think that I don't already have one? Very presumptuous. It's about time I got moving again. The frogs seem to like it as well. I love this remix of, uh, I forget what you call this, Riders of the Light, that's it. You can do a spinning bird kick. Oh, he's dodging. really highlights her freakish proportions. I'm I'm okay with her proportions. I accept them. Finger pressed the tip of my nose for almost two years now. Uh feels pretty good. Hey This goddamn frog tricked me. I thought this was like I thought we were gonna find the frog tier here. But it said, I bet it's here, too. I bet it's somewhere here. There it is. There's been a... F oh, oh, you mean time's been booping me, but that entire time, I mean, I feel held. I feel protected. I feel safe. Noise, getting lots of halos. Oh, one of these. Ow. Yeah, yeah, healers are a, a different kind of currency in this. It's like, <clears throat> pardon me, there's like homunculus orbs, demonic ores, and uh, healers, each of which are, are spent on different things.
Run. Tiene una atada. Okay, I see. I wanna... I mean, it didn't really matter where I was, as long as I could just climb onto this. Which I could. This is another thing over there. Okay, I moved much further into the map than I wanted to. Yeah, it probably wasn't it. How the hell did I get that? Goodbye, Bayonetta. Oh, it's a straight up death? That doesn't feel good. Oh no, I've made the exact same mistake. Come on, there we go. Oh, climb up there, you. Hey, okay. here we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Get up there. Say something controversial about video games. Uh, they kind of ran out of ideas after Miss Pac Man. There has never been a sequel that improves upon the original game as much as Pac Man and Miss Pac Man. Let's see. Can I reach this with uh No. No, you dumb crow. I had it. Jaguar racing through the desert turns into a crow. Crows ruin everything. It has been known. Smarter minds than I have said it. Hello, you. Motherfucker. Ah. Ah. <laughs> God damn it. These crows are fucking killing me. All right. I need a faster 
Aerial. Oh, that's a straight up death. No matter what, no matter how much health you have. Fuck me. Okay, take some health off me, but a whole ass death? For that? What reason? Okay. Did not need that at all. Now, how'd I get back over here without fucking dying? Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fucking get over there. Actually, where's the... Okay, our gleamy red boy's over there, so we have to... We do have to get back. <laughs> Shit. 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 Bail, please. Thank you. Okay, so not the train. Not Scarborough Fair. Spider. Quick in this. Whoa, no, no, no. No, no, no. I wonder if the spider can no the spider cannot quick sand. The spider can just lava. Where the fuck where are you going? Gotcha. Trying to lead <sighs> me on. Can... Oh, 
Oh no, it's... Okay, we've nearly cleared the stop area. <laughs> Not quite. Something for knocking these down, right? Oh, this is a strong ass ancient building. Yeah, this is the one time our heels have let us down. I'm not fond of these quick sound segments, to be honest with you. I can't say I was yearning quicksand. Arrested for devastating the area's cultural heritage. I don't even come from this universe, man. I'm, I'm out of here. You're going to see me catching any heat over this. I don't give a shit. Okay. Yeah, totally missed that. That's not gonna be enough. I think we need to go waiter. Baby. How you doing? Decide to smooch only Bayo today, damn. That kind of a Bayo? Do I not have the hair and the heels? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, she can climb up there, but she loses traction over time. Motherfucker. No deaths missed. Cam, your jets, I mean, I see you. Itching to knock up that counter. Ah, shit. That's already not good. Oh god, it sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> Be his final loophole by making all of us fan at us. We are all different universes Bayonettas. Confirmed. Hello, Viranetta. Yep. 
Shit. I was going so well, but I just fucked it at the end. Man, death perception in 3D, I beg of you. Got it. First try. Easy peasy. Uh, we haven't indeed gotten Lupunetta. In fact. Here she is. You feel the burn, don't you? Also, we got Train Netta. I'm not sure if you saw her. But it is very important. That's where I came from. I believe it is. Yep. V, did you see our viola transformation? Because I think it's like my favorite transformation in the whole damn game. Oh man. Shit. Oh god. This is going to be super annoying. Fuck. Uh. 
Deep in her mid thousands MCR phase, she is, but surely for that reason we should accept her. I know at least some of you have been there. I won't hear otherwise. Shit. Oh man, so close, so close. I was personally never into MCR or any of that, uh, I really like pop punk or, or emo or like any sort of the, the hip and happening, just rebellion phases of the time. Two more. Where's the last one? Shit, it's all the way over there. God damn it. Alright, I have to get that one. Because I can. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, I think I've got it. There we go. First try, baby. Not today. Or tomorrow. In fact, it won't get old. Change my mind. It will forever be the correct thing to say. God damn it. All right. Mash, 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 mash. Live. It's 
about time I got moving again. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> I think we've pretty thoroughly searched this whole area. No. Lot quicksand. We have not yet seen Araneta. Venom's caress. Oh my. Also, I feel like I missed. May have missed the cat in that area. Borg demon? We've we've had Borg demon in Bayonetta before, so this is a, as a returning demon. I mean that would make sense because Tasmarene was also a this is like an Egyptian version of uh, Red and Black from Bayo 1. Which I'm here for. Spinning by the kick. Oh, it's she. Spinning by the kick. Let me do my spinning bird kick. Oh, is this like a bat themed? Uh, I think this is this universe's John. That is enough. Oh yeah, and there that's the uh, Oh, Farinetta. Uh, very much Jojo-ish. <laughs> He's a motherfucking Jojo reference. Go. Alone. The 
interloper has extended the challenge to me. I will meet it and then return. Have faith. I'll see you again soon, Princess. Empress of the Fathoms, Bail. I think we were friends with Farajan. Farajan just uh, fought us in order to prevent us from joining her in some sort of dangerous task. That. That frog has... I don't know if it has tits or just a bra. <laughs> but we're somewhere in that realm. Temporarily joining us, I see. <laughs> Frog with honkers. Mmm. <laughs> Grace. One half of a pair of twin angels, Grace, Strit, and Flame, is always seen with glory, controller of lightning. These twin escorts of the Creator share a wild disposition and are often depicted as Isles of War, heroically leading the soldiers of Paradiso into battle, with their giant claw like weapons being symbols of their ferocity. One half of a pair of twin angels, Glory, the controller of lightning, always seen with Grace, Strit, and Flame, and together they use synchronized attacks when facing enemies. Humanity believes that the increased spiritual power of twins comes from the blessing bestowed by grace and glory. So if you're a witch and also a twin, you must be pretty fucking sick. As your fingers make contact, your head fills with the memories of someone else, playing back as a series of images. You seem to be in flight, but not aboard an airplane or even straddling a broom. In fact, you're holding onto the back of what seems to be a monstrous bird with exceedingly colorful feathers as it streaks through the air. On both sides, there are others in similar fashion on the backs of other birds as they fly in formation. Just a bit more. We're almost there. Look, that's where we'll set down. Hold on tight. The woman in the lead, riding on the largest bird in the flock, shouts to the others, gesturing far below toward what seems to be their destination, a, a tower surrounded by cliffs. The creatures plunge one by one toward the tower as if pulled in by its ominous aura, and the riders hold on with all of their strength to avoid being thrown. The birds show no sign of slowing as they approach the tower summit. The riders all brace for impact, but it doesn't come as the creatures spread their wings and slow down with practice skill, touching down with almost impossible gentleness. Their riders have also been safely delivered, but nearly all of their faces betray exhaustion. However, one, unseeming, one seemingly unfazed woman gives a clipped order. We must hurry. We still have a long journey ahead of us. Already seated from already seated from the fatigue of their flight, none of the others show signs of stirring. With a sigh, she simply states, "If you continue sit there to sit there, the wild ones will think it's feeding time." Immediately, the others' faces tighten and they stand, starting to descend the tower. She laughs heartily as she watches them go, following soon after. As a strange mixture of exasperation and satisfaction welled inside, images fade from your mind. Man, the lore bits, like those lore things, have really not been great. This time around. Thank you for the Stanley boats, and I unfortunately cannot be a, cannot be the, the honker. 
that you wish me to be. My one rule is never have honkers. see the cat anywhere I wonder if I've missed the cat and I was in fact in the previous area it's about time I got moving again <laughs> Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Boom, boom, boom. Stanley with honkers? Hmm. Maybe that's the key the whole time. Venom's Blessing. At the entrance of a temple, a woman fights bravely to fend off encroaching homunculi. Damn. I can't let them get inside, no matter the cost. The others have already begun escaping into the depths of the temple. While she is determined to keep the invaders at bay here, she is outnumbered and overpowered. Just as it seems that all is lost, and a cold tendril of, dis of despair begins to twist around her heart, an eerie yet beautiful song drifts from within the temple. As she hears it, her desperation gives way to hope. Not fully understanding why, she begins to run toward the voice, as instinct tells her it could be the only thing that will save her. However, as she winds through the narrow corridors, her hope is once again lost, as a brutal attack from behind knocks her off of her feet. Recovering as best as she can, she tumbles into a large chamber, but the homunculi are relentless as they close in. As she steals herself to face what must surely be the end, the song drifts in once more, filling the chamber with its sound. The woman notices the room darken slightly, as red-black mist forms above the homunculus' head. The mist then thickens into clouds and showers them harshly with a venomous rain. The drenched homunculi then writhe in agony briefly, but eventually grow as still as statues before finally shattering. Watching all of this while struggling to cling to consciousness, the woman suddenly recalls that an infernal demon with a love's song inhabits his temple, and an image of an incongruously adorable demon fills her head. As a silent prayer of gratitude begins to spread through your heart, the images fade from your mind. I don't know if that was Alt John's story. Maybe. It just doesn't seem like we get like a whole lot of like... Like the lore that Bayonetta 1 and 2 added were, were pretty decent, but these are seem like... Like... Sort of... Vignettes of stories and... Not... The best, in my opinion. So if you can make it sing four times, you basically just get an absolute killer in. Fair enough.
Kitty cat, are you in here somewhere? Don't see no kitty cat. Kaleo, how's it going? Thank you very much for the Sanran Kagodas. Radiatus. Okay, it's not going to be very easy to use that song on a regular basis. But she can do other attacks. Fight, but we got through it. How goes it? Not too bad, dude. Uh, busy, busy ass weekend. Either been streaming or working. I did get a bit of writing done, which is quite nice. I read about 20 minutes of a video I'm, I'm working on. Mega Babes, thank you for the druids. So that's noise. How long till my first YouTuber? Uh, <clears throat> I imagine the video is gonna take fucking ages to edit. To be honest with you, um, I'm I'm writing down like editing notes as I go so that I'll be able to like put it together easily enough. But it's gonna be a long ass thing. Uh, I want to get the script written like really really quickly, um, so that I don't like you know lose the passion to write for it. Maybe if I learn some shortcuts, I'll I'll tag some tutorials. I will. Cavern variant with a unique mutation that has changed the shape of its barrel. Its laser energy output has also increased and it is able to fire the energy from its mutated barrel in a scattered blast. Though this mutation was not intended by the singularity, he has recognized its noteworthy usefulness in battle and affirmed the phenomenon as a new type of homunculus. Oh, I did also, I wanted to level up the skills. Ivy, you take care of yourself. I hope I hope brain gets better. But uh otherwise, thank you very much. I appreciate you hanging out here with us. You're wonderful regardless of what kind of brain day you're having. 
Yeah, cheeky, cheeky. I've, I've never had PB and, and J. It's not really a thing over here. Not something we're, uh, we're spending a lot of time eating. But I do like peanut butter. Alright, so we gotta summon Beal to do some stuff for us. Don't know what exactly. Pop, not super valuable. Yeah, really, really just not. I mean, maybe in other parts of the UK or Ireland it might be, but. Murus, I fought one of these guys in an optional mission and he's fucking tough. Damn. Doesn't have damage. Oh shit. Interrupt the Beal song. I wonder when the hell you would get the opportunity to use Beal's song. Given how much time it takes. Unless you can, unless it like offsets. And just as I built up my big attack. I mean, I'll definitely have a, a toasted peanut butter sandwich, that's for sure. The shadow remains calm. Oh, 
Oh. Get him, Borg. Oh, she left too high. <laughs> she just disappeared. We did it. That frog really do have frog tits. Missed a verse somewhere in there. God damn. Quite the power lunch. Thank you, Sai. Sure you'll be all right. I was only joking. What? My best is I'm coming. At the end of the level, we missed a tear as well. Oh, man. <sighs> well, that's okay. We're going to be going this back through just one everything outcome, to get but the possibilities are endless. whatever we missed later. These desert levels are just fucking me over big time with the, the missing umbral tears. Yeah, Mr. Kitty. And it was the last one too, it's somewhere in there. Hey, what up, Nemesis? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the divinity boats. Let's get down to business. Kibi Netta, that is me. That is the only way I may be referred to from now on. Oh, B says costume change time. Are things not too bad, dude? Not too bad at all. Busy weekend, but that's okay. I don't really mind. I hope you're doing okay yourself. thoughts on this first place was, I was on expert as well um I really enjoy like the vast majority of it I enjoy every car I enjoy playing as every character even though Viola definitely took a some time getting used to this must be place. I kind of wish that the there, there wasn't I mean not that there wasn't as much exploration I'm looking forward to being able to do these levels without having to 
uh, crawl over every single place. Like, it's quite fun finding, like, the hidden stuff, but it's just so, so open and wide that you can spend quite a lot of time without really doing any battles. Um. Oh, Forgy boy. Oh, it's these Forgy boys again. Tricking me. Gee, I do want, I do want to play Evil Land. I really do. I want to play both those games. Evil Land, probably not going to get played this year. Yakuza Kiwami. This stairs is specifically where it gets most tiring. Yeah, yeah. The other levels, like, for sure, not as tiring is, is probably the best word for it. Not as tiring as uh, this desert. But, I mean, the first time coming into the desert when it's all open like that was really, really cool as well. So it's not like, it's not like a wholly negative part of the game. I got into the final game of Yakuza about halfway down now. Finally sounds appropriate. Those are some big ass games. I was saying earlier that I, I can't do like one Yakuza after another because I do get a Kamurocho sickness. I need to spend time in another world. Also playing Sonic, but there's moments you just have to stop. I mean, the fact that you've been playing it, and I don't want to, don't want to really hear anything about it, obviously. But the fact that you've been playing it, not just for as long as you have been, but you play it in like long sessions as well. Like you're, you're on that game right now. Makes me think that it's gotta have some sort of hold on you. Which uh, sounds promising. I was watching every stream you follow play every Yakuza game anything pretty much stuff with permanent Yakuza sickness. Yeah, that's another thing. Like I do love the fact that the game is, you know, getting its flowers after uh so many years of being, you know, niche and not getting all the releases in the West. Um But yeah, yeah, it it, it caught on big. Caught on big and a whole lot of people love it now, so is that you? Having an outdoor recital? Would your Sonic games be chill? I, I can I can understand that, but I'm I'm curious at least to see the how it does. Look forward to playing it. Probably my next full price game purchase. I was thinking of God of War Ragnarok or Horizon Forbidden West, but uh, I sort of know what I'm gonna get from those games. I'm gonna I'm gonna get what I've already gotten, but hopefully better and more. For the most part, but with Sonic Frontiers, it feels like just an entirely new thing. Man, this is one of the best but looking Bayo forms. Nice and creepy.
That's fair, Nemesis. That's fair. God, can you imagine? There's gotta be someone, right, who does the... The asset reuse like means literally nothing to me in terms of a game. Like that 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 has no bearing over what I think of a game at all. I don't even notice it. I mean I do notice it, but I don't like think about it at all whenever it happens. Um like games can you know, if reusing assets allows you to make a a bigger game and like put a lot of time and focus into the the one thing yeah, the one thing it might be just seeing camera show time and time again. Like that's it. But like, uh, you know, in terms of like S and K games, you were using assets allowed them to have some of their, their biggest rosters ever for their fighting games. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Every Dragon Quest game in one sitting on two. Yeah, I have no idea how you would do that. That's, that's wild. Wild and, and dangerous. Tier list idea. You love a tier list. All the towns in Yakuza that aren't Kamurocho. I haven't played enough Yakuza games to completion in order to uh, judge that, unfortunately. My knowledge would be quite lacking. I mean, I've played Yakuza 3, i played Dead Souls, and i played Judgment, and i played Zero, but the only one I've played to completion is Zero. But yeah, I'm going to do at least one Yakuza game a year going forward. Haste makes waste, is it? Detours aren't my style. I suppose there's no choice. I'm about moving. Be like 11 Yakuza games by now. You're like halfway through the series. Ha 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 ha. Guess not a speedrun because there are speedrun events where they showcase the game series. Usual with multiple runners though. Oh, what the Dragon Quest thing? It's about time I got moving again. <sighs> So excited for East 10. That's another series that I'm trying to. Bards! We used to be able to summon. This is a bird that we, we had befriended previously. In Bayo 2, is it not? I'd recognize the rancid air of Inferno anywhere. Unexpected chill in the middle of the desert. And you don't have to vote while you're saying it, Bayonetta. Uh. Who am I kidding? Lava rain, undying enemies. What's our deal here? Uh. Combo points. Will the lava rain interrupt me?
Ow. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, no, she moved into the goddamn lava. <sighs> the shadow remains cast. Wee. There we go. Yo, Platinum, we missed a verse already? Jesus, this game. Uh, top three death screens. The classic like Resident Evil 2, you are dead, like the the different like death animations you have during those. Pretty damn good. Uh it's more of like a bad end screen, but I'm counting it. Whenever uh Whenever you beat Sonic the Hedgehog 1 without collecting all the Chaos Emeralds. And Robotnik is just juggling the ones that you missed there, looking all, all kinds of fucking smug. It's like one of the girls in League of Legends videos. Uh, I can see it. I can see it, <clears throat> for sure. All right, I think I just like. I think I took a shortcut through a whole bunch of the level, is what happened. Not like a whole bunch of the level, but like some of it, at the very least. I think we're supposed to climb up this tower and I just jumped past it. Alright, so that's two. Another good game over screen. I'm trying to think of like, what, what are good game over screens that show like the effects of your game over? Um Lep is showing me a picture. Oh yeah, no no, she definitely does. 100%. Uh you're not wrong. All right. Let me just, let me just look up best game over screens. Like the Dark Souls one is iconic for sure, but I'm not sure if it's like I, I want ones that disturb me, if you know what I mean. Um
The class oh every Lara Croft remake that screen. Yeah, those were those were fucked up. <laughs> those were kinda uh one might say a bit much. And I would say one's probably One's probably, you know, justified in saying that. Spinning bad kick. I love how whenever you fight the demons, you get Bayonetta 2 music. And whenever you fight angels, you get Bayonetta 1 music. That's very cool. Okay, there we go. There's the missing verse. Banjo-Kazooie with a witch turns hot. Does that, does that do something to you? Does that disturb you somewhere? Mirus, a large mollusk-like homunculus type, protected all over by an extremely durable iridescent exoskeleton. It boasts extremely high defense against external attacks. It possesses a pair of tentacles that end in harness tips like sharp axes, and it wields a slash at enemies. It can also concentrate its own life force and fire an extremely powerful laser, but in order to do so, it must split and open its exoskeleton, exposing its body and leaving it vulnerable. Also, while its thick shell provides protection even from the savage blows of infernal demons, it is not airtight and is vulnerable to attacks like poisonous liquid. Also, ribs popping is maybe something to look at because whenever your bones pop, it's usually like air trapped in the cartilage of joints, and your ribs don't have joints. <laughs> your ribs don't don't have joints or cartilage or air. So if something's popping, uh, you you might die. Oh, it's your back. Well, yeah, your your back can, can pop. You feel the air temperature rise sharply and see a group of people walking through the hazy air. They are walking through a burning desert, wrapped in veils and cloaks, to block the sun. And are moving quickly as if fleeing. This should do. A woman breaks off from the group and starts to climb the tallest dune in the, in the vicinity. Unfazed by loose sand, she leaps gracefully to the summit. Steadying her breathing, she removes her veil to unfurl long hair that waves in the wind. There doesn't seem to be anyone else in pursuit. She whispers, looking out, out across the vast desert, but there, have no, there is no look of relief on her face. Brought them safely this far, but will I be enough? Her eyes suddenly drawn to the sky. The last words from her guard, Captain, echo in her mind. Look after the others. When the time has come, we will meet again, but until then, go and live together with them. He realizes there is no defying those words, spoken as their eyes were locked. He turns back, sliding down the dune to where the others wait at the bottom. There should be a settlement ahead. We'll head there for now. Her doubt night swept away, she takes the lead and walks forward again. Yeah, these, man, these little like lore snippets really aren't doing it for me. I'd go as far to say they're on the boring side.
And I've only seen one Umbral tier so far. What you doing? Opening a gate to hell, but why? I'm coming, John. Oh, so she has Malthus in her fans. Leonetta Nefertetta <laughs> or Nefert Nefertetta? Yeah, it's Nefertiti, isn't it? Our bringer of finality, Malthus. Oh, we're just straight up getting it. Dick. This make getting around a breeze. Oh. Well, now I gotta put on Malthus. No? Malthus not a weapon? Malthus, uh, oh, a temporary summon. Lamb. He's literally me, true. Changes costumes every time, yeah. 100%. Sometimes you look, fight, and gone. It seems someone would rather I wasn't. Perhaps you've got something more interesting in store. Giza, Temple of Tempest. Alright, Giza.
Oh no, that's the wrong weapon. Well. Oh, 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 uh. oh, uh. where the fuck am I? How am I supposed to get through here? It's not dying, is it? Oh. Please choose a more elegant weapon. Good. Wait, what the hell? Where? Oh, okay, I just totally missed this next chamber. No! God damn it. This is gonna be the worst. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Actually, being chicken tendies is not so bad. Find the perfect way to cook sunny side up eggs. Would it be sunny side up? Is Alroni Bandetta the perfect woman? More weird plant women. No? Okay. Oh my god, another one of these guys. Oh shit! He was biting Malthus. I didn't like that. Now's your 
Get him, Malvis. Good board. I like summoning a giant bird. I like to do it. I like to think about doing it. I like to pretend I can do it. Yeah, I also think Banana One's yeah appearance, her first one, is uh, the strongest. Man, we're almost fully, uh, fully leveled up from a Dama Butterfly. Umbral tear up there, or is that something else that is glory and red? Something else. Oh, that's an umbral tear. Fuck you, buddy. Tears very much. How the hell did I get up there? The wind isn't kicking me up. We're not getting height from wind. Gotcha. Don't do much for the decor. Trying to lead me on. Oh shit, I didn't peep whether or not that was our second or third Umbral tier for the level. <sighs> I mean, it's the second that I've got, but... Was it the second or third of the level? I see, we can summon Malthus to do all the hard work for us. Spread your wings. Spread 
Spread your wings. Mon Malthus, you're smarter than this. <laughs> Spread your wings. Yeah, if it was a third, it would have appeared in the third slot, but I didn't now see which slot it actually appeared in. Unleash it. Oh, I thought we were trying to... Are we trying to hit all of them? The other ones? Spread your wings. Do it. Yeah, oh, okay. It's a second, thank you. If you would. Unleash it. Malphus is not a dumbass. He's a smart bird. Fuck you. Talking shit with my boy. Kinda dumb. Kind of a dumb bird. And I was looking for the cat, I believe. Smart is not a thing he is on anime. Look, he could be smart in bird metric. Maybe. Okay, nothing up there. Then bird metric means shit. Look, there are some very clever birds, okay? I think Malthus is a guy. I think it's been described as a he before in the games. Are you in here, cat? Are you up here, cat? If I miss this cat, I swear to God. How have I not been pissed, 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 pissed? You think I would know something or two about cats? Okay, it's not up there. It's about time I got moving again. Kind of weird that Rodan isn't really useful for much in this game, like, as a shop. Might have something special for you. Like the occasional accessory. 
I guess these upgrades. Like in the red fit, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's about time I got moving again. Oh, we got us a little get all the fangs. Easy peasy. Some healers as well, nice. Actual first time that time. Easy peasy. Here, kitty, 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 it's kitty, about kitty. Time kitty. I got moving again. All right. New skill with the G pillar. Kiss a normal human for once in my life. Guardian, is this your, is this your way of getting a kiss? Is that what's happening here? How you doing, Stargy? How is your weekend going? Alright, the cat's gotta be in here. Gotta be. What? These guys get torture attacked from one single Malthus strike. I'll take that. Alright, before I do anything else. I can find a way to lift that. Where's this goddamn cat? I know you're in here somewhere. I can sense your malice. You're up before the morning with the vampire survivors, nice. Uh. 
here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Are you not in this big ass room? Oh, there you are. Done that way. What? what? That's cheating. You can't. <laughs> you can't do that. God damn you, cat. Amazon barely use PSP. Is that effective? Does that work? He's been even after the sign they made. Good. Lock the kitties. Take it. Oh, oh, I see. We can weigh this thing down. Got you now, you little. Yeah, where are you gonna go now? You can't jump up there, can you? Got him. What an adorable new friend. Starch's request? I don't think so. If it was a request from a friend like Stargen Solidus, then I'm sure I would prioritize it, treat it with the utmost seriousness. go mr master pb all right i'll i'll do a little do a little random hat for starge why not starge can have a random hat as a treat every now and then hat 11 oh 
Okay, Hat 11 would have been Bayonetta, Hat from Bayonetta 2, so we're not going to do that again. Uh, Hat 23. Oh. Good one. Give me one moment. It's me, Sonic Hedgehog. Finally, everyone's favorite is here. Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star, what would, what would that involve? What the scars? All enemies with limited time. Okay. Spread your wings, Ow. Now's your chance. Come on, Malphus, fly. Malphus, fly. <laughs> Oh shit, I was trying to get him to drop this dude right off. Oh, got him. One second left, thank you. Shirt, pants, and boots. How many times do you see me putting pants on, huh? <laughs> Several times, name five. Name five pants. <laughs> Just get the goddamn Kenshi off it. Uh, no. Kenjiro is not a, a likely appearance. I'll be real with you. The Forbidding Wind. You hear the sign of wind, strong and unending inside an enormous temple. It is blowing ferociously from all around, between pillars. You know what? I'm not even going to read these anymore. These are so damn boring to me. Like, that won't even look like it had some Bayonetta and John lore from this world, but I don't even care, man. Skullmania? <laughs> uh, I feel like I don't have the crazy eyes to pull off Doctrine Dark. It's about time I got moving again. <laughs> Oh, 
Brood. Man, those burst fires are fucking difficult to deal with. I mean, I don't think it's Capcom's choice whether or not they get to buy, you know, Arika's rights. The amount of like rival schools characters they've added make it seem to me that they're very open to, uh, You know, and of course the 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 final fight thing. They're very they're very open to bringing in whatever characters they can grab from their other properties. Oh, nice! Finally get the cool skill. Oh. Almost killed myself with it immediately. More Malpha stuff. The looks of it. Oh yeah, we have to. Not picking up. If you would. Thanks, Malphus. No one plays fighting the egg player online. Uh, I've not even tried that game, to be honest with you. But I think it it might be on. Shut up for once if he saw this. I think it might be on the PlayStation Network Plus thingamajig. Alright, I can get hit by this guy once. Well, that's my one hit. Oh, 
man, those flyers are doing work. But they're also trapping me in here if I can move. Ooh, that was lucky. Trapping it against the wall with the flowers and then just wheeling on it with all the demons. Worked out very nicely. Oh, they did add it after you bought it? Damn. For the company. I mean... Guess you'll delete the death you had ready. <laughs> or you should be happy about, you know, supporting a creator you like. In fact, everyone should support a creator like right now. Maybe one. Maybe one that you're watching at this very moment. No. Oh. I see. What have I ever created? Uh. A fuck ton of bad food text. <laughs> You selfishly want them to go under so Capcom can buy them. Capcom probably wouldn't even do that. Capcom, even even when they get the this easy slam dunk, I don't know if they'd do it for you. The concept of table grips. Look, table grips are a thing, alright? Table grips are an actual thing. If you look up table grips, you'll get a proper definition and everything. If all this effort doesn't make for a happy ending, have some harsh words for that girl. Even more so if she's not keeping an eye on Luca. For some reason that kitty was scratching around in my mind. Hmm, what has come over me? Bayonetta, you could have easily dodged all of that. I thought this was all a bit too easy. Oh, no, she's fine. Very Aladdin for the Sega Mega Drive. Lord, we dodging. Does every chapter in this shoelight section? There have been quite a few of them, for sure. We've engaged in more than one shoelight in our time. Are we surfing on a goddamn statue top into a pillar? 
Keep rolling around at the speed of time. Hey, coconut. How you doing? Whom's does whom's does that? Ow! I'll take a gold. Things a little more new than normal. Uh, that's because she's got a demon summon at the moment. Malphys. No. He's gone. No more Malphys. Zero stratus, zero cumulus. What? Jean. Princess. Oh, curse this damned war. Relax, Jean. I'm not your princess. But I did promise a mutual friend that I'd come for you. Sounds like someone has led a rather solitary life, doesn't it? Indeed. We will waste no more time on this foolishness. What if Jean was just fine? She's got the the staff blade for it. Spinning bird. Oh shit! No, that guy's not gonna let me use my summons. Spinning bad kick. <laughs> Around me, do it. I like more. I love that, like, one of Bayonetta's most iconic moves is 
purely because of Virtua Fighter. And the Batman Butterfly can use it as well, even better. Hey Sassy, how you doing? Thank you for joining us today. Oh, shit. Ah, Dej. Left way too long, but you have no records. Bar kick. Oh shit. Oh, break free. Can't let this side get too light or John's in trouble. Oh. That's why I've been hitting the uh, clouds of deletion. Rude. So. You can only summon demons as much as uh, as much as the skills allow. Hey, Frenchie. Good morning to you. 
For some reason, I feel like the clouds of deletion aren't really going to be the end of this boss. Why does the homunculus have booba? Oh no! Forget about me. Why does a frog have booba? Beast and me. Yeah. Do it now. Yeah. Quickly, damn it. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, is this Malthus form Bayonetta? Oh, Forgive sick. Me. My weakness failed you again. No. You've grown stronger than you know. Cereza. suggested fanboy pb i mean would i have boob as a fanboy that's the, the question look most of my outfits are in some way fanboy pb so oh it's gonna combine it's gonna become double booba double snag head Called Nahobino, thank you. Yeah. I'm not the woman I used to be. Now watch Jean. I'll never bow to anyone again. Not even myself. Trust no one, not even yourself. She really saying it? Strato cumulus. Uh, well, let's see if he survives. <laughs> let's, let's not count them Malphuses before they hatch. Yeah, a lot of the the homunculi are named after clouds. Is it black base if this world's Bayonetta is Egyptian? Igniter of creation, the Phantom. Ah, that looks like a good monster hunter monster. We got 
We're living and learning? Is that what we're doing? Live and learn. Okay, fire is back up. Or not? Am I trying to crawl? In? Yeah. Shit. I'm gonna get a death due to timeout, aren't I? on come on yes oh my goodness is that not it pretty please oh man fuck <laughs> Yeah, two's a, two's a couple of minutes. Feel the rage of
It's not it's not a flop, it's just a setback. It's setback era. Phantom trying to sign all cool. Or it's time to get out of bed. I'll do it. Come on. Pretty please. Ah, there we go. Jesus. We turned a demon to a nuke. We destroyed all of Egypt. That's fine. The lied. Oh no, V, no! I bet Aneta may never survive. Apparently. I mean, it, it's a giant bomb that also just became a black hole, so maybe not our smartest finishing move. No! Give me a cool new weapon, no thanks.
<laughs> Scooby is now the time. Truly. One more chaos gear to get. New demon contracted. New weapon acquired. Wait, that's... We also get John's weapon? And the song of Bill. I say, just swims at them. Reese Vole. Okay. Fish Bayonetta, you say. What does that hold to boost defense and to boost attack? Hmm, both effects can be applied multiple times. Oh, it's a microphone? The weapon's a microphone. What's up, Asensia? How you doing? And then we also get Malthus and Birdonetta. <laughs> Squario. I mean, I I can't I can't take a lot of credit for that. I don't know who said ketchup on toast. I just yeah I said <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it. Well, I think it's like four pound rather than five pound, but yeah, I just I give one and then Mega got inspired and drove to hell with it. Yeah, it's all Mega. It's all 100% Mega. And whoever first said ketchup on toast. Okay, Mistral. Is that a. Metal Gear Rising reference? Probably not. I think all of all his moves are just named after weather phenomenon. Oh man, Rodonetta. Hell yeah. Two weapons at once, that's sick. I haven't found any other optional weapons since we got uh, El Raoni. But I'm sure there's got to be at least one. Rage Wolf Bang. Well, first things first. Give me that new outfit. Welcome to the gates of hell. It is real good lab. Billions Light uses magic power to add, activate which time when attacked. That's not too bad. Increases the potency of masquerade rage attacks. That does sound a lot more fun. Put on a random hat. We have a hat request to come beforehand, but uh, before that, I need to take a quick break. I've been holding on to a pee for that like entire boss fight. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I need to go pee. Uh, Y'all also go pee. Stretch your legs, get a drink of water. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I will see you in about five minutes. But first, let us listen to Tomorrow is Mine. The theme of Bayonetta 2. Right back.
Okay, we am um, returned. Got our little bonus level unlocked, so we'll try that first of all. Thanks for the wibbers. Uh Oh yes, that's right. We had uh, a costume change request from Starjin. I typed in Nahobino's name is Naruhodo, but that's that's not correct. And after a while, we'll switch to uh, times random request. Right. It is I, the most beautiful character. Alright, let's see if we can do this level as Viola. Hopefully it's just a standard, straightforward battle level. Oh, we got a... we got some new stuff? New mechanics? As Viola? What does the Star of Donetta do again? Replenish their vitality by taunting an enemy. Not getting much use out of that. Uh, Rage Wolf Fang. A mysterious earring said to have been crafted by a witch whose battlefield exploits were awe inspiring and who led an elite corps armed with ash spears during the later Ming Dynasty. Believed to have been made from the fallen shards of the Climax Brace, this treasure that pushes all who have reached Climax and power to newfound heights. Increases the potency of attacks during fairy transformation. <laughs> Sonic Frontiers is an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam. Goddamn. I was not expecting that much, but fair enough. Oh, we're just fighting Beal straight up. Oh, I keep trying to dodge, I forget. We're not dodging. Parian. Here could have 
Wait, why am I getting affected by the cloud deletion? Oh, I see. I see. I see what's happened here. We've both been fighting on this platform, so it's been thinking. Deaths here, unfortunately, do cunt. We're cutting these. Items over on this side. Nope. I think they're all just platforms to help you get back up. Should level up feel his health and magic a bit much, a bit more. I think. Um, you know what? I can take a new skill with her as well in general. Yeah, Bao's on eight and six. She's on four and three. The Nern remains cast. Don't like that. Summon Cheshire's head to spit out a pottery to nucleate enemies. Yep. God damn. Okay, I gotta get used to if I try and block but I'm too early, instead of releasing the block to try again, I should just hold on the block. Gotta get used to not dying. I mean, I am sure this fight would be so much easier as Bayonetta, but... I kind of like the extra difficulty that playing as Viola adds.
Man, even whenever I summon Cheshire, her attention's still on me. Also, I've just realized it's gonna be really fucking hard to get back up there whenever she's actively targeting me. Oh no, she's doing her she's doing her whole damn song. Wow, she just does her whole damn song and kills you. Death by Adele, truly. Okay, so the way to stop that is obviously to get Cheshire Rod, but I don't think I could have got Cheshire to get down there in time. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that's too much damage. Damn, we were doing quite well, too. Kicky frog legs. If you start getting hit by that, as Viola, it's really hard to get out of it. Okay, so even after she does. Oh, God. Oh, 
Ah, uh, fuck. Ow. Okay, we're getting closer. Again, I could probably switch to Bandit and get this done very easily, but... Oh fuck, I missed. <laughs> I missed the lift. Quite a bit. Yeah, clearly it's the principle. There's no other reason for it. <laughs> Oh. Oh, god damn. What? Oh, did she launch missiles somewhere I didn't see? Yeah, the tongue's pretty ridiculous for sure. No talking in chat, just that. Man, she has some like animations that are just straight up Nero from Devil May Cry. Stop it. Over here, Cheshire. Time to shine. Bring it in, big guy. Oh, God. Oh, 
Come on. I feel like I made that other jump too early. Yeah, it, it is interesting. It's interesting they used it in like the previous level. Like this is just that stage again, but it's used in a different manner. In the previous level, it was all about how much you could use your demon summons because of the added weight they they give to it. I keep getting over down to the last uh, the last health bar. And it remains cost. Chaser, can you get down there? Good man. Oh fuck! Chaser, what did you- How'd you not do it? How long is that ring gonna last for? Okay, okay. It's not a instant kill, but my god. It's still quite a bit of health. Oh my god. I felt like I was going well until she was able to get her rain started because I my Cheshire couldn't reach. She just slammed me into the ether. <laughs> the I overestimated the reach of my my zippity. Or the combos, rather.
fuck. Let me get out of here. Oh no, I missed it. No. There we go. God damn, come on. All you big Steve. Not looking good. Take your best shot. You're up. Come on. Cheshire, let's fucking go. Yes. Over here, Cheshire, strike. Oh. Take care, Scooby. Have you a good nap, my dude. Thanks for uh, thank you chilling with us today. What did I pick up there? Is that a new accessory? Yeah, I think you've had enough for now. Good. Oh. Almost that. Almost that, that one more death, yeah. <laughs> Finish the character as Ribbit Libido BZ55. Defeat your opponent's bail before she uses Poison Rain. Finish the chapter with Jean, so the game just said, by the way, you can you can you can play as Jean in these levels. Which you know. Not the most unexpected fact the game could drop on us. Can I get some cats jamming in here, please? I will also accept a rat chairman. Time for Jean's spy action. He must be up ahead. I just hope he's still breathing. This should take care of security. Oh, we're getting straight into a boss level. Use 
Come on, give me a new weapon, please. Oh, that one's out of order. Oh. Got an angel. Oh, Lord. time. Oh, it's a remix of Friend, which is like Yon's theme from Bayo 1 in the Planizer. Maho Shoujo Cave Story. It's more Maho Shoujo Elevator Action, but I'll take a Cave Story. Oh my god, they actually did it. They actually did it. This should take care of security. Great, thank you for the Persona 5 Royals. Much appreciated. Dr. Sigurd, a pleasure to finally meet you. Missing two of the collectibles, but no deaths. Latinum. Alright, this will be our last chapter for the day. Oh, and it's a viola level. Piella. Uh, 
any frosted peak enjoyers in chat? What's our new accessory? Infernal communicator. Summon little devils when they're held. Little devils tackle enemies when you attack. Hell yeah. Even the little guys. See you, crow. I don't see where you're going, though. Gotcha. That was a little harder than I thought. Hey, she sounds like she's about to die. Oh. Man, you're still alive? Out, oh, rude. The point blank shot. like a what what was that we found like dead chests around here also totally forgot some of my little dudes in that fight Which time damage only, no torture attacks. Uh, uh, okay. One way to get witch time. Oh shit, I didn't buy the thing that gives me witch time whenever I get hit.
Ow. That doesn't count as a death. Don't you dare. Ow! <laughs> God damn it! The shadow remains cast. <laughs> really should have bought that accessory. That gives you witch time every time you get hit. Uh, how long does witch time last? It depends on how effectively you parry. If you do like a little parry, it lasts like a, a half a second, if that. If you do a perfect parry, then it lasts a lot longer. I have an idea. Bleh. Now this accessory allows me to parry by tapping forward in the direction of an attack. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and hope that that works. Oh, I did uh, I did parry a couple. <laughs> but it didn't like to be at which time. I think it might it might stop you from spamming it. Lovely. I love that for me. Do us the old passion way. Bring it on. Bring it on. I might be too hungry to do this one. At least for now. Bring it 
Oh, no, I didn't mean to jump into it. I was trying to fucking parry, but parry and... <sighs> I accidentally pulled out the command for the, the dash. Oh, damn hand. Yeah, definitely need that thing that gives you witch time whenever you... Whenever you attack a hit. Stop summoning the hands. Fuck. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, hello. Ah, god damn, I didn't see that guy behind me. No, Pimmy, these aren't deaths. Pimmy! No! No, Pimmy, you did it. The false 69 is the worst one. It's the worst possible death number. Yeah, the nice and <laughs> Fuck. The shadow remains Oh no, stop fucking changing the target. It's not what I wanted you to do. I was wanted you to That's hard to parry because it doesn't doesn't feel like there's much indication as to how that cannon burst comes out. That song really is an earworm, man. Come on, come on, finish it off, god damn it. That's so annoying. Oh, that was the perfect start. That was the perfect start. What's up, Lep? Why, why, why am I being broed? You dare bro me? 
Oh, bro, mine. Oh my goodness. Absolutely fucked that one up. Don't listen to this music. Yeah, I could have beaten this ages ago. Oh, fuck, I hate that so much. That just seems a bit too mean. Goddamn arms. idea with video games they're fired Oh, you motherfucker. God damn you. There's a whole other enemy after those. No, fuck your hands. I can't parry the hands. Fuck off with the hands, dude. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna come back here whenever I have that... ...which time... ...item. That's just, that's too much, man. Ah, fuck it. We're doing it.
Oh, you cheeky, cheeky bastard. Hey, what up, Toffee? Uh, yeah, this game's pretty damn cool, but I, I, it has, like... This challenge level is ridiculously tough. At least, it is to me, who cannot parry moves consistently. You would think Sekiro's trained me for this, but how you doing? Alright, good start. <sighs> Bad follow up. And dead. Mm, oh, such a good start. You're ahead of me, so you won't divulge too much. Okay. Damn, you must be steaming on through this game then. Well, I suppose I only play it like once or twice a week. Couldn't fucking see where I was. Ah, uh, so frustrating. I take your switch upstairs. You can do catching up on a few games. Any in particular planned? Aside from AO3, obviously. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I accidentally dodged into it. Ah, uh, I keep accidentally doing my dash instead of my parry. Shouldn't be holding on a direction when parrying is a thing. SMT. Oh yeah, God. That playthrough was proper dropped. Bring it on. This is the opportunity I needed, really. Bring it on. Nope. 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 Bring it on! Bring it on! Bring it on! 
Oh, come on. Oh, man, that fucking... Ah! <laughs> yeah, I just finished the desert level. We're, uh, we're starting whatever the world is after the desert. I'm stuck on this one viola side mission and it is uh, beating my ass. Nice. Fuck. That's nice. Oh my god. Okay. No, I, I, I'm officially. I'm gonna come back to this one whenever I have the the witch time thing. Cause we've kind of run out of time to play. And tonight's stream is gonna be a a shorter one as well. Actually, you know what? I think I'm probably gonna leave it for there for now. Cause I'm so hungry, man. Imagine ending stream ever. I know. Look at this fine ass train. But oh, man, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm starving. I'm gonna get myself something quick. Eat. I'm gonna order myself some dinner. So uh, yeah. Thank you everybody for hanging out. Thanks for coming, for chilling, for chatting. Thank you Valkers for the raid and time for the 13 month resub. I greatly appreciate it. I'll be back again tonight in about three and a half hours time. We're going to be playing more Signalis, so please look forward to that. Holy shit, Taylor's playing Shadow Glosses. Let's go. Hey, please be good at game. Hey, Tuna. Sorry, yeah, sorry for the bad timing, but thank you very much for, for stopping by and saying hi. Now go say hi to Taylor. And, uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see y'all later. 7.30 p.m. GMT tonight. Signalis. And then... From tomorrow onwards, a brand new week of streams. But until then, take care, everybody. Be good, and bye, bye. <laughs>